Hey guys, it's David with Great Choice Audio Video. Hey, we're back at the job site. Uh, we did a previous video of us putting this uh, theater together. So today's the day of actually finishing the theater. So super excited to show you what we got. Um, we'll go quickly uh, with all the equipment real fast so we can remind everybody what we're dealing with. Let's start with the room size. We're 13 foot wide by roughly 18 foot deep. There's a bar at the back. Um, in the previous video, we actually had someone uh, comment about not having speakers at the listening level. The reason for that is on that wall, um, there's actually blackout shades. Um, there's a huge sliding window there. So putting them at ear level on both sides on parallel walls was not an option for us. So we put them in the ceiling for rears and Atmos uh, in front of those. So what we have here is the 120 inch screen innovation screen zero edge with slate 1.2 uh, screen material around the screen we have phillips hue and underneath the cabinet we've also placed a strip of phillips hue so we can tie those in together so we get you know create some really cool effects with the uh, screen on or with the screen off um, we have all kef speakers in this whole theater so we're using the kef q650s for left and right the 250 for the center and we're using the Denon S960H for the uh, surround sound receiver. On each side of the cabinet, we have two I-12s from Sonance. And man, I tell you what, we have plenty of bass. And then, of course, we can't forget the uh, Sony 295ES projector. So, uh, with all that being said, we control everything with the universal remote, uh, URC, the MX990. And right now, we just have a kind of a backdrop going with the uh, Apple TV landscape or uh, looks like we have animals. I think this is nature. So anyway, um, super cool theater, easy to control. Apple TV is our only source at this moment. Uh, we just stream everything, stream all of our movies. Uh, but as you can see, uh, great looking picture, nice and bright, even with the lights on. Um, and then we'll turn the lights off so you can see what the picture looks like and then all the colors around the screen. You can go ahead. So now, look at the picture there. <laughs> Quite a bit different. Uh, Ronnie is handling the Philips Hue app, uh, handling all the lights underneath the cabinet and around the screen, showing you know different colors of greens, blues, purples, reds. So you can all obviously have some fun with the lights. You can do you know obviously crazy things with Philips Hue with flashing lights, party make the up around the screen a different color than what's underneath the cabinet. Um, all sorts of neat, neat stuff. But when designing a theater, uh, you got to definitely keep the listener or whoever the seating in mind because depending on how far back the screen is or how the seating is, is how, you know, how big you really want to do the screen and how high you want to do the screen and, and things like that. This is like, again, 120 inch screen. So you got multiple types of seating. Um, that's going to be roughly about 13 to 15 feet back and then you have some bar stools behind them um, at the bar. So it's going to be a great place to watch games, watch movies, and all those sort of things. Obviously you can have a lot of fun with the Philips Hue. Um, super easy to control. Um, unfortunately we're not controlling the Philips Hue with the universal remote. Um, there are some control systems that we could that we do that you can control the Philips Hue, but with this particular system, just a basic uh, URC remote, and then we're using the Philips Hue app to control the lighting. So, super easy. Still working on this room. No seating as of yet. Uh, matter of fact, <laughs> you'll probably hear some noises in the background. But there's carpenters in the garage uh, still building stuff for this house. We got some shelves going in and uh, other things that they're building that I'm not quite sure what they're, what they're doing. But um, if you guys haven't subscribed to our videos, please do. Uh, leave me comments down below. Go ahead and like it, it really helps us out. <laughs> There's some cool flashing right there. But lots of, lots of ideas and things you can do today with media rooms. Uh, this happens to be uh, one. We've done many if you've followed any of our videos. They're all different. Uh, that's the cool thing about you know, media rooms or theater rooms. Um, there's so many different ways to do it, so many cool options out there. So this is one that we wanted to show you guys. So hope you like the video and uh, stay tuned for future videos coming up. And again, subscribe and like. See you guys in the next one.